Hello and welcome to all. This is Neeraj Gautam. In our previous class, we discussed about the analysis of forces acting on the reciprocating components of an engine. Today's class, we will start with a numerical based on the inertia force calculations on the engine. So let's consider this numerical shown here. Find the inertia force for the following data of an IC engine. The diameter of board is D, say capital D is the diameter of board. D, this is D, is 175 mm. The length of the stroke, say L, is 200 mm. The engine speed is 500 rpm. The length of connecting rod a small L is 400 RP, 400 mm. The crank angle is 60 degree from TDC and the mass of the reciprocating part is 180 kg. Now, in previous classes, we considered this diagram of I see engine. I will take this diagram with me. Move towards stage. Is this diagram here? Now the length of a stroke is basically when the crank pin C is at IDC, the piston position is P dash, and the when the crank is rotated by 180 degree and crank pin reaches to C double dash position and piston is here somewhere P double dash position. This is the stroke length traveled by the piston. So this is stroke length is this and in both the case conditions the connecting rod is along the line of a stroke. So we can simply say is that a stroke length is equal to the two times of the crank radius. The stroke length L, right? the stroke length capital L is equals to two times of the crank radius which is given here as 200 mm. So the crank radius becomes 100 mm in meters, definitely it is 1.1 meters. The diameter of bore is given, but it is not used in this problem because in the relations of acceleration of piston as well as the inertial force of the piston or the reciprocating components, this diameter is not there. So this is the extra data given in the problem. Now, engine speed is N equals to 500 RPM. You can easily convert this RPM in radian per second. Omega equals to 2 pi N by 60. So, if I substitute the value of N here, I will get value of Omega as 52.4 radian per second. 52.4 radians per second. Uh, the mass of the reciprocating component is given here. MR is 180 kg. And uh, the angle theta, which is V measured from inner dead center. And here the angle theta is measured from outer dead center. So this is the position of theta is 180 plus 60 degree. Okay. Oh, sorry. The data is from TDC. TDC is equivalent to inner dead center. So the theta is measured from inner dead center. This theta is same. So I will erase this 
calculations of theta. Inner date center and TDC are equivalent. This is the angle theta which is 60 degree. So angle theta is simply 60 degree. There is no uh, manipulation of value of theta. Now <coughs> the connecting rod length L small l is given as 400 mm. So we can determine the L by R ratio that is the length of connecting rod to the length of crank is uh, 400 by 100 that is 4. The value of N is given. Now we know that the inertial forces Fi is are equal to MR omega square R cos of theta plus cos 2 theta by N cos of theta plus cos 2 theta by N if I substitute the value of MR from this value this is my MR This is my theta, my n, mr theta n omega omega mr omega theta n and a small r definitely. So I substitute these four values in this relation, then I get directly after the calculation that the initial force is 18.53 kilonewton. Do the calculations by your own. Okay, this is our final answer of this problem. Thank you. If you have any doubt or query related to this particular class or any topic of this subject, you can ask us, you can send your doubts by the uh, by the WhatsApp or mails at the numbers given below. Thank you.